Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at another keyboard from Risofi. They're a company that reached out to me not too long ago and they sent me a couple of keyboards. This is the second one I'm taking a look at. The first one was a full-size gaming keyboard that I didn't necessarily find anything worthwhile. Now I do know that this is one of their newer ones and this is the one they wanted to highlight. So. It's basically a 75%, and that's about as much as I know of it. So let's go ahead and open it up and find out. Now, the other one didn't have a model name or number, and this one, I don't know if it does either. All right, before taking a look at the keyboard, let's just, just see what they've got in the box. They've got an instruction manual. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable. We do have some extra switches, which is always nice. We have a plastic keycap puller and a horseshoe wire switch puller. Now let's see what these switches are. All right, they're Huano. So, and they are not lubed. They have very um, decent amount of ping. And here we are with the PC404A. That's the model number. So I guess it's a keyboard that we can't find. <laughs> Anyone who knows HTML will get that joke. Sorry about my dad jokes. So we've got a semi-translucent case. We've got some kick-out feet, just one pair. Now let's see, we do have some uh, non-shine through keycaps, which is always welcoming. And these are double top shot. And they appear to be, hmm. I don't know if I'd call this profile a, huh, similar to a DSA, but not uniform. Not quite sure. Let's uh, take out one of these switches. And we do have five switch, or five, we have three and five pin hot swap compatibility, which is nice because that's not what we had on the previous keyboard. So this one's already given me a little bit more, more faith. And it does feel like we have some silicone rubber down at the bottom, as well as some, what appears to be silicone between the plate and the PCB. And the plate and the plate appears to be probably PC. It's definitely not steel. All right, so we are dealing with a wired keyboard, but I get the impression that there is a wireless version of it as well. But it has a nice, uh, what looks like silicone padding down below. So I'm gonna, the switches are probably the only real con here because this actually doesn't seem like too bad of a board. I like the keycaps. I like the profile. I like the, the gradient. Um, it's very rare that I like stock keycaps. Uh, let's see what the thickness of these are. Yep, if they were fully double shot, we'd have closer to 1.5 or higher. Um, but these are just 1.1 millimeter. At least they're a millimeter is kind of like my cutoff. Anything less than that, we're gonna have just a really clacky key. I like I like the profile. The switches are really the, the only thing that's holding this keyboard back. I'm almost tempted to go ahead and record a stock sound test and either leave the switches or just replace them all together. Even, I think I've got some uh, Red Dragon Reds that are lubed. 
because honestly, I think that would make a very big difference. Let me take a look at the stabilizers. So they're not too loose. Could be a little tired, but I've seen a lot looser. And let's see. They actually are lubricated. It's the most minimal amount, but it's enough. I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised because usually it's nothing or it's big gobs. This is actually properly lubricated just enough. So I think that's why these um, stabilized keys actually sound. I gotta say, this one, this one I, I like. Um, it is a little lightweight, but not too light. But because it's that semi translucent blue that I used to not like these semi translucent cases, but somehow I've been coming around to, to them. Let's see what it looks like with the lights turned on. Took a second to boot up, but it's booted up now. So we got some pretty decent lights here. Yeah, these lights are pretty decent. They're, they're definitely bright. You can see them quite well, even with the uh, the non-shine through keycaps. So now I've seen this symbol before, but I can't remember on what. How many AUs who boards? I don't know. I can't keep track. So anyway, I, I mean, I just went and took a real quick look at the Amazon listing for it. It's listed at thirty nine ninety nine, which I would say uh, it's a little pricey. Um, but then I there was two different promotions, and I was able to get this keyboard down to nineteen ninety nine. So. That puts it kind of in a whole different um, position because we've now got, now it's wired only, but we have a decent keycap set. We have switches that aren't going to sound half bad if we, um, if we give them a nice lube job. But we could also just take, see these are pretty similar. They have, um, yeah, they have slightly different openings down here. Oh no, actually. These look very similar. Huh. This is a Red Dragon. And these have already been looped. So, I can place one of these in here. It's lighter. I mean, it's a higher pitch and I mean, it's kind of hard to just one key, but I'm going to do a sound test with all of these stock, and then I'm going to replace them with the Red Dragon switch, and I may even then try another switch, like, like not an OEM switch, but, you know, an aftermarket switch. So, at $19.99... It's not a bad keyboard. Oh, and yeah, that's another thing. It has a... Um, does have a PC plate. It does not appear to be gasket mounted. As we can see, the USB port is on the, the PCB and there's no room for the PCB to, to move, so... It is tray mounted, but at least we have a PC plate, which is going to be 
It's going to give us a much better experience with a PC plate. So, uh, it's a, to me, it's an interesting buy. I actually, I'm already thinking of what I want to do to mod it. And I think I could mod this, make it, give it a little bit more heft. And hmm, I wonder if I could get those symbols off. The, the, I mean, I guess it's a sub-legend. Just the specs. Today we took a look at this 75% wired 82 key pre-built from Risify, the PC404. This keyboard is both 3 and 5 pin hot swap compatible with a tray mounted PC plate. It has addressable RGB through the software and comes very well dampened. It comes weighing in at 568 grams and MSRPs for $29.99 on Amazon. The chin of this keyboard sits at 20 millimeters above the typing surface, while the back sits at 26 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Raising the single pair of feet will raise the back up to 37 millimeters, changing your typing angle to 11 degrees. I don't know. I'm not going to mod it right now. I'll get into it some other time, but I do. I will try it with at least, like I said, I'm going to try it to stock with the uh, Huana reds that it has in there that are extremely pingy. And I'm just going to try them with some very similar Red Dragon switches. And we'll see the difference. But um, I don't know how often it goes on these two promotions. Uh, one was 10% off and the other one was a fixed amount. But it came out to $19.99 with both promotions and they were able to be stacked. So, I was, at that point, said, hmm, a 1999 75% hot swap with three and five pin. Now this, I could, I'm having a lot of ideas, things that I could do, um, either painting it or adding stuff to it or doing something crazy. I could, I don't know, I get a little bit of a steampunk type of vibe that I could give give to it but um, it does have software it has that basic software that does not have layers it has profiles and um, I mean you can at least do per key RGB and you can do macros on it so um, it doesn't have like you know you're not going to be able to map function and a combination to do anything unless you do it as a macro um, so you're gonna have you know very basic uh, control over the keyboard, but um, for $19.99, especially if you um, if you know someone that likes blue and is looking for a new keyboard, they're looking to get get them one as a present. I mean, <clears throat> you can just buy a cheap set of nice switches, or just take the time and lube these, and I think they'll be happy with it because. I'm going to say that it's going to make a difference. I mean, maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it, I think it'll make an audible difference between the stock non loop switches and a set of very similar, if not made at the same factory, um, switches that are looped. So we'll see. But at $19.99, it's not, it's not a bad little kit um, at that price. I almost checked out and got another one <laughs> just because i don't know i i like it i it would be nice if they had other colorways like a red with a gradient red and then maybe a green and then i mean well you know we could go on and on with colors but um i like the keycap profile they feel like they're pbt's but i haven't been able to find anything on the profile and or the material used so they're not a uniform. They, they are sculpted uh, profile. And they're maybe a tad bit taller than Cherry. But they're, they've got more of a scooped, a scoop to them than Cherry does. Cherry's flat. And these have more of a scoop to them. 
So, and they're just a, a nice set of keycaps. I mean, they're not perfect. I mean, that W looks like it's bold and IN is just natural, but I've seen much worse. So, um, I don't know. I, I, uh, I find this one an interesting one. I'm actually curious about if I have a couple of them modding them. Not like I don't have a few keyboards waiting to be modded already, so I could probably hold off and buy another one. But I will come back to mod this one. And, um, who knows? But I think that the switches is going to make a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, stock sound test and I'll do a sound test with some lube switches and I may do a third sound test with another set of switches just to see how much of a difference we can make without doing any mods except replacing the switches still the same keycap still the same keyboard as it is stock and then see how much difference it makes going across all the different combinations so so if you got any questions for me about this keyboard or any things you'd like me to do when I open it up, let me know. Place them down in the comments below. I, I do my best to answer as many comments as possible. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keep it on.